Hello, family. How are y'all doing tonight? Yes, you know, we got to check in with each other. We got to talk about a situation that's going on out there in the social media realm. Seems like we got a new player coming into the house. Oh, yes, Shamia Morton. Okay. And probably her African husband. I'm like, are you ready to sell your soul for a pot of gold of the entertainment industry? Girl, this reality world shake up type of format or platform. Girl, you better not answer that phone. Because if you do, you're stepping in a dangerous game where you can lose your husband. You can lose respect for yourself and your other teammates that you're playing Um. On the team that you're playing on. On the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Girl. You're not set aside with being a friend of the um, show. You want to step out there. And get lit up. Can you stand the rain. In my new edition voice. Or do you want the fire. Baby. You want that fire and desire. By Rick James and Tina Marie. Because honey and Nene can show you how to get it. And be the most hated person on the show. And still be trying to floss. <laughs> Child. Tender love. Tender love honey. That's playing in the background. Yes if you're from Atlanta. You should be tuning in to them old classic. Them old feel good songs. That you could just sit back. Listen to the lyrics. And they be saying something. Okay. Whether you're in love. Whether you're breaking up with somebody. You want to find love. Or you just tired of the whole love scene. 102.9. Classics honey. The classics throwback jams. Need to listen to it. Need to listen to it. Okay, let me put this cheese puff in my mouth. Okay. Because I woke up home, right? Went to bed at what time? I think it was 7 o'clock. I don't know. I was tired. And I don't really do too much. I, it'd be a lot of analytical type stuff. I'd be looking at numbers and and medications and stuff like that. So, I guess that can drain your mind, can it? Yes, really. I'm going to go with that, uh, um, that example of me being lazy. So, okay, but anyway... Got this story, honey. Urban Bell Mag magazine put out, family. And we need to review it. <sighs> For edification. Yes. Another player, honey. Don't want to sit on the sideline. Don't want to be a friend of the family. She wants to come out and show us she got some smoke. She got some smoke. <laughs> I'm like, honey, is your husband ready for the exposure? Because the men are not really shown to be pretty well when their women step out and want to be a part of the scene, okay? They go after them, too, as well. So, is your husband ready for the pitfalls, all right? But anyway, we'll go on into it. We already told you it's off of UrbanBellMag.com. And we have none other than Amanda Anderson Niles over there writing for them. Writing up all their salacious entertainment celebrity stories. But we gonna shout we gonna shout Shamia out, honey, for trying to defend herself and her character and her morale when it comes to being an upstanding friend of Portia Williams, okay? Because Ken tried to make it seem like on that last episode that Shamia was fake, fraudulent, foolery. And full of fuckery, huh? That's what she tried. That's what she tried to say or try to make us believe. But Shamir came out with some receipts. <laughs> she said, you ain't finna get me tied up in this. And I'm think I ain't finna um, show my receipts. So anyway, we get right on into the story. It goes on to say, Nene Leaks. Well, let's go back a little further. Let's give a title. It says, Nene Leaks slams Cynthia Bailey. And Candy Burris. Plus, Kenya Moore exposes Shamil Morton. All right. Shamil said, not on my watch. That's what she said. She, it ain't in this article. That's just my sidebar. It says, Nene Leakes and Kenya Moore have been entangled in a nasty feud on the current season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. What else is new? We got that. Got it good. Moving back on. To the article, it says, however, the latest feuds don't start with each other. After the season finale aired, both took to social media to put a couple of the other ladies on blast. All right, now. 
Kenya decided to respond to Shamia, Morton, and Portia Williams. Okay. And Nene had some things to say about Candy Burris and Cynthia Bailey. Neither liked what was said about them on the latest episode, so they defended themselves. Okay, girl, let's go. Let's see what we defend behind them. Because those who saw, saw those who heard, heard. So I'm trying to figure out what, what else they got to give us. Okay, but we going on back to the article. It said, when it comes to the latest season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Nene Leakes and Kenya Moore feud has been a focal point. Well, what else is new? Hell, that's the only thing driving the show. Them two feuding, okay? Like cats and dogs. Dogs and cats, okay? Going back to the article, it says, however, they aren't necessarily drama-free with all the other women. It's expected for Nene and Eva Marcel to clash at the reunion. I'm like, come on, girl, let's clash. Because she don't clash nowhere else, meaning Eva. She really don't. She talk about she talk about people behind their back. Then they confront her when they're all together. She slide back. She tried to walk everything back. Like, she ain't said nothing. She put, like, hush, hush on it. And then try to blame somebody else. Like, girl, just standing your shit saying you said it. Because you know Bravo going to be fake, fraudulent, fuckery. And, um... A bunch of foolery showing you clip backs of where you did say stuff. So, girl, give it up. Give it up, honey. Whew. Have it with, have your drink without a chase or sometimes. Just take it stiff. All right. All right. Okay. Moving back on. It says, um, let me see. But Nene may also have tension with Candy Burris and Cynthia Bailey. All right. In particular, Nene is convinced Cynthia and Candy are in alliance with Kenya. So she was livid after she saw that Cynthia said she was too old to be threatening Kenya. I'm like, huh? You ain't never too old to threaten nobody. <laughs> okay. Now, twirl on that. You ain't never too old to be threatening nobody. Now, whether you go along with it, whether it's a hands-on situation or it's just a verbal altercation, that's old, you know, that's up to you. But you can get an ass whooping at the age of 100 if you can dish out the ass whooping, okay? You better be ready to take it if you're 100, all right? Damn. Good Lord. This man want my banana. <sighs> Me and Elijah, he's always up in my face. Anyway, moving on. It says, um... Okay. Nene also feels as if Candy doesn't call out Kenya enough. Now, that's why I disagree. Because Candy had her moments. You know, I tell y'all, y'all always think I be riding Nene Trail, Nene Train, and all that kind of stuff. But I don't. I fly on other people's um, planes and jets, choo-choo trains and all. Okay? Just depending on what they're giving me. All right? I'm, I'm non-biased, whether y'all believe it or not. Because, like, y'all going to love who y'all love. I'm going to love who I love, in the, depending on what I'm watching that particular episode, okay? I can ride Kenya Train at one time. She got some kiki, whatever. I can ride Nene Train. I can ride Cynthia. I can ride Candy. And, and everybody else. Portia, too. Okay? Just had to put that out there. But no, 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 no. Candy has risen to the occasion at times when it especially comes to her beloved Cynthia Bailey. When Kenya trying to throw some salt on that wound that she trying to scrape up on Cynthia Bailey. Because Cynthia, you know, she she's a link to different people and filming. She's like a neutral person that anybody can film with because Cynthia ain't never getting into no mess. You know what I'm saying? She kind of like Eve, I guess. That little... What you call it? Tried and true in a sense. You know she's going to act a certain way. Uh, you can be on her team if you need to. As far as filming purposes. You know, they're always going to be that staple right there. And that's what Cynthia gives the show. Uh, when some of the ladies are not getting, you know, getting together. Or they're not coming together. Or whatnot. They want to just claim like they just that in the third. Just like Nene. She feel like sometimes she the itch. And, and she don't need to film with nobody. But then reality sets in. And. We know that ain't her show. They all co-stars on that one show. That's why they call it The Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? But, of course, Nene had to get that thrown in her face several times, which it needed to be thrown, thrown back at her because, it, you know, she was one of the four uh, old, former OGs or a present OG to still lasting alone, t standing the test of time. She tried and true, but, you know, it's other people that help make the show as well. Nene just had a hard time understanding that. And sometimes we have to like break her a little piece off, serve it up to her, and let her eat off her own plate. 
that she damned okay but anyway uh she goes on and, and, and shows receipts that can you know don't actually be taken up for her when she can and this then third i'm like well see that's an isolated situation depending on how you make candy feel on a certain day she ain't gonna take she ain't gonna ride your choo-choo train if you've been making fun of her or you've been talking out your neck you know or whatever you know because she's a young og she don't know how to really put you in your place and just pay you dust then she don't understand that yet but she's growing into her own just like portia has grown into her own she she's known uh portia meaning how to uh, elevate on both sides okay you she can hate needy in a way and hate is a strong word so we you say distaste she dislike her at times okay but she know how to ride Nene train and she know how to ride kenya train okay because you remember kenya and her were i wouldn't say bestest but they were trying to make something come out of the relationship as somewhat friends okay i'm just saying using that word lightly because you know these women are not friends on the show they really not friendship is not in them because they talk about each other they drag each other. They don't take up for each other when they need to take up for each other. Only when it's warranted when they need to shine a little bit. Where they'll be humble like Nene. She'll go and try to make up with everybody. After she pretty much done threw everybody under the bus. Under the sun. She was throwing Greg. Well, she has thrown Greg on the bus. So, you know, she'll go for her own family members to throw them on the bus. What would she care about you? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Okay, get it. Got it good. But moving back on to the article, it says um, they showing some tweets that Nene had tweeted out. Um, one reads uh, Candy needs to check Kenya Moore. That move was provoking. And Kenya and feels Kenya move was okay, but well, at Cynthia Bailey feels Kenya move was okay, but judging at Nene Leach because Kenya violated her personal space. And it's a hashtag Real Housewives of Atlanta, right? Week and now say something, okay. And then Nene tweets again saying at Cynthia Bailey. Recall Cynthia kicking Portia when she was in her personal space, and she fifty years old when she did that. Fake cheeks, full of fillers, girl, bye. Okay. As for Kenya, she decided to respond to Portia and Shamia saying she lied about having a text message. Conversation with Shamia when her water broke. Kenya speaks out on her Twitter account. Oh, hell, it might be Instagram. I, I'm not really sure. But anyway, uh, I supported Shamia and Portia throughout their entire pregnancy off camera. I was pregnant and panicked. When I got the text about her water, we were all great friends to each other. The intimacy we shared was sacred, and we all had beautiful babies. God is good. Okay. Then we got Shamia. She pulled out her receipts, honey. And it gives a whole timeline of um, the conversation she had between uh, the two, meaning Shamia and, uh, oh, what her name? Kenya. And it's off of uh, Urban Veil Mag Magazine, if you want to go over there and see it. Uh, it says, hey, lady, do you ever feel hiccups? I don't know. Okay. Wait a minute. Hey, lady, do you ever feel hiccups? I don't. Okay. And then I'm guessing it, um, can you say, no, it's funny because everyone asks me that, but I just don't. I woke up wet this morning. Okay, no, that's your meal. Okay. Um, she said she woke up this morning. Okay, maybe this is Kenya first. Okay, it's, it's got to be Kenya saying this. Hey, lady, do you ever feel hiccups? I don't. And maybe she's talking about baby hiccups that could be related to Braxton Hicks. Hell, I don't know. Or maybe she's talking about physically herself having hiccups, hiccups while she's toting the baby or carrying the baby. Then it responds that, well, well Shamia responds back saying, no, it's funny because everyone asks me that, but I just don't. I woke up wet this morning. And not just a little discharge, so I'm walking into the dock so they can tell me if I just piss on myself or if my sack is leaking. And Kenya responds back, you are there now? And then she writes, yes. Then Kenya says, are you scared? Where is your husband? Do you need me to come? Where are you? Then Shamir writes back, they said it was pregnancy discharge. I'm fine. And she said, that's so sweet of you. And then it goes in to where Kenya says, oh, God, okay. All right. And that was the end of that conversation. So, really, she was saying, 
you remember when we was watching the show that uh, Shamia had reached out to her. But since, you know, Shamia dropping down her own receipts, she's basically saying, no, Kenya contacted her. And she just told her about a situation she was going through, you know, trying to throw salt on Portia and Shamia's uh, friendship, thinking she would definitely go and take part of, um, a friendship with Kenya behind Portia's back, which was definitely wasn't the truth at all from this uh, little case of information, a point of reference of information that Shamia sent out to the blogs or the blogs caught on social media, Shamia's social media account, giving an explanation on what actually went down. And it was posted September 6, 2018 at 2.07 p.m. Just for clarification. But, uh, child, I tell you, I don't know, Shamia, I don't know if you're ready for this smoke, girl, between these two women. Portia give you a little leeway, then she'll kick you to the curb, because you know she got a man and a baby, and she got a life. <laughs> now, Kenya, nah, not so much, because Kenya just used everybody to a certain degree. When she can't use them anymore, she phased them out. Some of what she did to the cookie lady, then the cookie lady going to try to come back, and, and in my mind, and my perspective, try to use Kenya to continue to have a storyline. But nobody wasn't playing for it. And Kenya ain't going for it. Did you see Kenya even it come to her uh, acknowledgement of when she did that podcast? Kenya was nowhere to be found and didn't want to comment. She's like, baby, you ain't getting on my show. You ain't trying to take my thunder, okay? I threw you, I threw you a life raft, but it was only for my convenience. <laughs> the cookie lady just don't know how to play the game. But in essence, guys, ladies, gents, that's all I have, family. So y'all get down in them comments and tell me, is Shamia Morton ready for that smoke? Is she ready for that fire and desire? Because it's not only going to put her at the forefront of mess, it's going to make her husband have to come in there and be a little messy too. Or they find out dirt on him, you know. And I don't know if he's ready for that smoke. Most men aren't. But anyway, y'all get down in the comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about subject matter. And I will see y'all next video. But until that time and in between time, make sure you're loving my videos. You're sharing my videos. And you're subscribing to the channel. Okay, it's our channel. Let's blow up together. All right. And I'll see y'all next video.